Hello Libra, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to your monthly love reading, Libra. Okay, so we are going to look into what you could possibly have coming in this month in love. Okay, so we're just going to put your card up here and get right into it for Libra. What is going on in love for Libra this month, please? Always keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of the video. So let's, ooh, Libra, nice start. King of Wands, lots of passion, someone that really knows that they want to be with you and could be taking action toward you. The King of Wands is very strong, confident energy, very courageous. Ooh, someone from the past, possibly. Could be a past life connection. Soulmate or twin flame, possibly, as well, for some of you. What's going on for Libra this month? This is about reconnecting here. What's going on for Libra in love, please? And of course, only you know if someone's your twin flame, so... Page of Pentacles could start small. So something could be a small offer in the physical world, okay? So this could be like going out on a date or getting together. We'll see more, of course, with the clarifiers as well. What's coming in for Libra this month, please? In love. What's going on for Libra in love this month, please? Page of Cups. What have you been dreaming about? Mm. Dreams coming true. Libra, wow. So this could be the person you've been dreaming of here coming into your life. You might, for some of you, you might even be having dreams, actual dreams. But this could also be like the person that you, you know, envision yourself being with. Someone that really you know, gets you, you're on the same page, they check off all the boxes, you know, they really kind of fit well with you. Oh, this crooked, there we go. Um, yeah, they fit well with you. So a good match coming in this month. Okay, let's see why the King of Wands, what's going on for Libra this month in love, please? Why the King of Wands? Wow, someone that had their eye on you. So you might be at a distance from this person right now, but they're keeping a close eye on you um, from afar, from a distance, possibly. Could be geographical distance for someone too, but it doesn't have to be. These are general readings, remember. Um, but they definitely, they have like laser focus on you. This person wants you, wants to be with you. Okay, Six of Cups, please, for Libra in love this month, please. Why the Six of Cups? What's Libra? Have? Whoa, we have two. We have balance and end of a painful cycle. Nice. So I'm feeling this could be an end of a cycle of separation for someone because this is about reconnecting with someone from the past, okay? And now this doesn't mean like an ex-partner that you don't want to be with. That is, of course, your decision, this is someone from the past that you can see yourself with. Someone that you would choose to be with again. Ten of Swords. And that painful cycle of being apart. Balance coming in. This balance could be key to allowing this connection to thrive. Okay. I don't think you can see them. There we go. What else for Libra this month, please? Page of Pentacles. Something small, some sort of maybe get together or date or something like that. Page of Pentacle. Whoa, passionate new start. Ooh, Libra. Some fire here. <laughs> Leo. Okay, also Leo energy. So some of you, Libra, 
Uh, could be connected to Leo as well, or you could have Leo in your chart or in your person's chart. Mm. Passion, desire, new beginnings. It could start small and grow really big. Mm, nice. Page of Cups, please. Why the Page of Cups for Libra this month, please? Why the Page of Cups? What's going on for Libra and love? Why this Page of Cups? The Knight of Cups. You've been dreaming this love offer coming. So yeah, it is the person that you've been dreaming of coming toward you, making some sort of an offer here. So I feel like there's definitely forward movement coming for you this month, Libra. Um, stay in that positive vibe, focusing on what you truly desire with this person. And I feel like they might be making or uh, taking action toward you here. Okay, we have to do some oracle cards. But these two fell out of the next deck I was going to grab. As I was grabbing the deck I'm using. So I am going to take these. I feel like they're necessary the way they fell out there. They kind of stuck to this deck. Love and empowered. Hmm. Yeah, this empowered, strong, confident energy. This could be both of you, though, okay? Uh, you and your person, Libra. Very strong, empowered energy, realizing your own power within, lining up with it, aligning with what you desire. And, you know, love coming. Definitely feel that with this Knight of Cups for sure. Love is on the way. Let's get these oracle cards out too. Those just really wanted to flop, pull, come out when I picked up this deck. So it, we're definitely taking them. Sometimes I don't believe in coincidence. So it happened that way for a reason. Relaxation, mischief. Ooh, wanting to have a little fun. <laughs> Some fun, mischievous times are coming in. Okay. And some relaxation too. So a perfect balance nice balance very nice also the color blue look at these cards very similar mm. yeah this person could be someone you're very similar to you have a lot in common the one coming in here this king of wands uh, or knight of cups you know whoever this is that you've been dreaming about it's like you feel this strong connection with them, like you know something is special about them. There's similarities. What else for Libra, please, this month? We have a lot of cards to get to. When I was prepping for these readings, man, I didn't, I was like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> when I got done with the first one, I was like, whoa. So, hope you guys are in it for the long haul here. Not really super long, but what do we got for Libra? Free yourself. Hmm. So someone freeing themselves and taking back control of their life this month. Okay. Um, now keep in mind, we are talking about the whole entire month here. So, and time doesn't really exist at the level of energy. So things can shift and change throughout the month. You know, some of this could happen at the beginning of the month. Some of this could happen later on. But someone taking back control of their life, whether it be you, Libra, or your person, um, enabling them to make different choices. Mm. People, no more people pleasing. Just coming through there. What else for Libra, please? Did I clear these? I don't know. <laughs> what else for Libra, please? In love this month. What's going on for Libra this month in love? So for some of you, this could be from anything. This for yourself. These are general readings. It could be from, you know, relationships, people, jobs, you know, things like that. It could be from anything. But it's taking back control of your life and not allowing others to make choices for you. Choosing what you feel is best for you. Be lighthearted. Yeah. See, having some fun. The dragonfly. Dragonfly also like big transformation is what I'm feeling here. Like your guides are with you as well. The universe is really on your side here, Libra, helping you along. 
and big transformation. So it could go from like zero to 60, you know, almost like a race car. Race car, someone driving race cars maybe? That'd be so cool. I'd love that. Mm. Race car, so maybe someone, yeah, they could drive for a living or something. Maybe they're a race car driver, something. But this could, this connection could go from zero to 60. So from slow or stop to zooming right in, okay? Um, coming back around, coming back around. Increase. So there's an increase in someone coming back around for some of you Libra as well. What else for Libra, please, this month? In love. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? There we go. We have honoring your energy. Nice. So high vibrational energy. Honoring that, you know, really staying in that positive flow. Someone coming in with that same energy, that balance, see? That's why I felt it was integral. I feel like it's very important. You know, you're both on the same page. You're both balanced energetically. Mm. So someone that's really going to honor where you're at, okay? Very nice. What else in love for Libra this month, please? Definitely could be getting together or reconnecting. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. So trusting in the universe and that everything is working out as it should. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. It's also a new moon in Cancer. So you could have Cancer in your chart or your person could as well. Um, not necessarily, but... You definitely could, okay, be connected to a cancer um, sign in some way. Because this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus as well. Let's get more, please. So just know that everything is happening as it should this month, Libra. Like I said, it's kind of like some of this can happen. And then just flow with it. Flow with your month. See where it goes. Wedding rings, whoa, union, wedding, sorry, trying to read it upside down, it's not working, it's, it's cursive too, <laughs> upside down cursive, it was a little bit more difficult, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, wow, Libra, you got something big coming here for some of you. Of course, because these are general readings, you always have to keep in mind a lot of different situations and energies come through. So if you're not at that place with your person, then maybe that one isn't for you. But there's someone here where union energy coming through. Like So I feel even if it's not to the level of wedding rings, I do feel that there is some sort of partnership or togetherness that's going to take place this month. Okay, also there was 1333 on the timer and told to tell you that so the 333 could be relevant or 1333 what's going on in love for libra this month please what's going on for libra this month please What's going on for Libra, please? This month in love. Thank you. Receive. Ooh, nice. Be open to receive. So you've done the work. You've put in the work. The inner work is shining through right here. Um, be open to receive. It's time. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Wow. So, yeah, falling right next to the Knight of Cups there. So this offer of love, if this is something, of course, if this is something that you desire, okay? Never let a reading tell you what to do with your life. Um, 
follow your own intuition always, okay? Um, but yeah, if you are open and want to be with this person, I feel like this is the universe is trying to convey a message here to you to receive it graciously. They want to come to you. They want to offer you something. Be open and receptive, okay, Libra? Let's get more for Libra, please. This month in love. What's going on for Libra this month in love? Thank you. That was fast. Go deeper. New moon in Scorpio. So Scorpio energy coming through here too. So also could be in you or your person's chart. Go deeper. So I feel like this is saying here that your relationship with one another is about to deepen. There's an openness and vulnerability coming through. So speaking from the heart, you know, really going deeper, having deep conversations with one another, getting to know each other better. Very nice. What else for Libra this month, please, in love? What else? What's going on for Libra in love this month? You haven't had a lot of two cards. Well, a couple of them came out too. That's a sign of union, but I just feel like the other, some of the other signs had a, like a lot of cards coming out sometimes. What else, please, for Libra this month in love? we go. Ooh, what's this? Ice Queen. Hmm. Interesting. Ice Queen. There are forces working against you. Hmm. So there could be uh, someone in the background here, Libra. Someone that may not be wanting what this, this situation is going to entail. Okay. So yeah, just have your eye out for that, you know. I wouldn't worry about it or stress about it, okay? Because always keep in mind, these are general. This may be for one person out there. You don't know. So try not to overthink the negative things because the more you think about the negative things, the more it draws it into you. So just kind of take that, be aware, and let it go, okay? And if someone is working against you, don't worry about it, <laughs> you know? Um, the truth will win, Okay, so that's the truth will win. So the universe really wanting you to know if you have good intentions, don't worry about that, okay? And I just feel like it's someone who maybe just doesn't agree with, you know, it could be anyone. It could be a family member. It could be an ex-partner from someone, you know, like we had free yourself. So it could be anyone that someone's leaving behind, you know? It could be someone that was controlling someone's life. It said, free yourself, take back control of your life. So this could have been someone who, you know, was working against whoever they were involved with to begin with, whether it be you or your person, you know. So just kind of, yeah, just let it go to the wayside, so to speak, and try not to worry about it. Let's see what else is coming in for Libra. Thank you. Dreams. Didn't I say we were having dreams there? And entrapment. See, someone was being controlled. Yeah. So this could be that breaking free. And this could be whoever this is from, okay? It might be a feminine energy. Uh, getting some feminine energy coming through here. But that, again, it could be anyone. It could be a boss, I mean, that's a feminine, more dominantly in their feminine. But there is a breaking free going on, Libra, this month, whether it be for you or your person. They might have been feeling trapped in the past. You might have been feeling trapped in the past. It's time to let that go. Um, and dreams. Definitely feel like you've been having dreams about either this person. They've been dreaming about you, Libra. I feel like dreams are coming true here, so, you know, whatever you've been hopefully focusing on what you desire here, 
those dreams might manifest for you this month. Okay, very nice. So, hmm, breaking free, moving forward, ending a painful cycle from the past. Yeah, see, this could have something to do with that too. Hmm. All right, what else for Libra, please? This month in love, what else for Libra? There we go. Ooh, the sun. Happiness. Yay. Absolutely. See, so don't worry. Things are going to work out. You know, the universe has your back here. This is happiness, joy, bliss. You're going to feel like your inner child is just, remember we had mischief and relaxation. That perfect balance of fun and excitement. Yeah, it's really looking like a good month here for you guys, Libra. Ooh, that was fast. Roots of Abundance. You guys are setting roots. Ooh. Something is really solid here for you. Someone. Okay, Libra. Whether it be, you know, some of you, all of you, there is strong, long-term, solid type of energy here. Setting roots. Someone's moving too. Like there's a long like distance. And like setting new roots, you know? Like planting a new tree. Interesting. Okay, so take that how it resonates for you guys. But like planting a new tree could be moving long distance. Either way, it's a solid foundation that's coming in. Okay, solid foundation. Okay, let's get more, please, for Libra this month in love. What's going on for Libra this month in love, please? What's going on for Libra this month in love? There we go. We have, whoa, me dropping a bunch of cards. We have Surrender and, oops, Passion. I can't show you that one. I don't think I can show you either of those, the front of them anyway. So we have Surrender. Except, yeah, look at, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So releasing the past knowing and accepting that you know sometimes things have to end but that's how it has to be in order to allow new things into our life mm, passion look at this a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it so yeah there's magnetism here there's a lot of chemistry and passion coming for you guys as well mm, very nice what else for Libra this month, please? In love. Magic eggs. Ooh, nice. See, I told you that exciting energy. That's what I was feeling the whole way through here. Magic eggs. Beginning something is exciting. So you got an exciting month coming, Libra. All right, Libra. Well, that is what I have for you for this month. I really do hope you found this reading helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.